Hi. <laughs> so I did my, like I mentioned in the other video, I did my unboxing of the Amisan collection because I was feeling a little bit, um, I originally sat here to film the continuation of, you know, the breast implant surgery, how the scar is, um, it's looking, how I'm feeling, all of that good stuff. So I got my surgery done back in February 28th and now is June God, what's today's date? <laughs> today's date is June 8th or 7th. No, I don't know what today's date. Well, we're already in June. So um, it's been March 28th, May, April 28th, June 20th. It's been over three months. So I was feeling like initially when I started doing the series, I was like, well, I want to just share my updates month to month and um, you know show you how the scar is looking, how I'm feeling, how everything's healing, and all of that good stuff. So when I was by week four, so the first month of the surgery, everything was going super well and um, I was happy with you know the results. But then I kept thinking that you know that the scar was gonna get better that it was gonna get better that it was gonna get better and for some reason i still have like the clothes hanging out here i should have moved that but that's fine um so i was thinking that it was gonna get better and better and better and um turns out that i'm not happy with the way that the scar looks so that's why i didn't continue to do any um any other updates and um I mean, I, the way I'm feeling, I feel fine. I feel like I've never had the surgery done in my life. I'm like the happiest person in the world because I can wear anything that I wanted to wear and that was my main reason why I did it. Um, I never wanted big boobs. Why did I all of a sudden just... <laughs> I had to show you. Um, I never wanted like big boobs like to have a cleavage. For me, it was more about being able to wear um not things like we're super extravagant and sexy but being able to wear things maybe without a bra or maybe for things to fit a little bit better and i wasn't really um happy with the shape of my boobs more than the size of them so that's why those were the reasons why i decided to do the surgery so in that sense i'm totally happy i am i can wear anything that i want to wear I can actually, I actually enjoy going to the stores and, and trying on things and I've bought so many backless things and so many like things that you don't need to wear, you don't need to worry about like wearing a bra. And the final size that I am right now, I have no idea. Oh god, I haven't even purchased like new bras because I can still fit my old bras like no problem but there's things that I just don't need to wear bras so I haven't even purchased new bras. So the back is obviously stays the same, it's not gonna change. So I'm a 34 in the back, and then the boob size, I would guess that I'm probably a small C or a full B, I think. Because I still buy my clothes the same size, I still wear my old bras, and um, yeah. So nonetheless, I still wanted to show you Haha, <laughs> my friend just texted me, he's like, she's like, I love your skin. <laughs> Girl, that's a filter. Anyways, um, <laughs> I um, wanted to show you the scar because I was like, well, maybe it can help somebody that may be going through the same situation as me. I'm still wearing my scarring creams that I got from the doctor where I got the surgery from. I have two different lotions that I've been, not lotions, they're not lotions, what are those? So two different ones that I've been wearing. Um, one was completely made up by the, by a dermatologist. So he got the ingredients, so I went to a pharmacy, and this was not here, this was in, in Bolivia. And this was not here, this was in Bolivia. So I, he put the ingredients in, a, in an RX and um, I took it to a pharmacy, they generated the, the, the lotion for me and I've been wearing that ever since, two times a day and then I have another one that I wear, sometimes I'll alternate the two, like one in the morning, one at night or vice versa. Um, 
And I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know if, if it was a doctor's fault. I don't know if, um, I don't know. I don't know what happened because I feel like I was doing everything I had to do, but I will tell you this. And I don't know if this is TMI, but when I did the pre, you know, the pre blood work and all that, that you have to do before surgery, I did come back with vitamin K deficiency. So vitamin K helps you to heal and to scar and to all that good stuff. So I, at the moment, I am blaming it to that. But I do want to look into, you know, as time goes on and progresses, I know that it's been not so long and I know that I still have time for it to get better. So when I get to the point where, okay, I know for sure that it's not going to get better no matter what I do, then I'll probably look into other options, whether it's going to a dermatologist or anything like that. But I still want to give you an update and show you. And um, yeah, ready, set. Okay, so I will show you. I want to show you. Okay, so I'm going to show you my scar. So I got it right down here. And so this is what it looks like. And this side right here, I'm super self cautious about, but I'm hoping that I can do something to fix that. You can actually feel the texture of the scar, whereas in the middle right here, you can't feel it. And then right here, you could feel it as well. And then the other side, it's, it's not something that anybody can see, honestly, like nobody will ever see it, except your significant other. Or if you're like laying down and I don't know. But the other side is, ooh. So this one used to be worse than this one actually so i could feel the texture all around the scar and right now i can only see feel the tip here and the tip here so yay i have hope that it'll get better um so that's how it's looking right now the three month mark and i feel perfectly fine like i mentioned and i can sleep in my stomach i no i can't sleep in my stomach i sleep I sleep a little bit to the side but mostly towards my stomach but a little bit like like to this side and sometimes like I could get a little bit uncomfortable but nothing like extremely uncomfortable not like you feel like it's gonna burst so um that's it I hope that I don't know what I hope from this video honestly I was so nervous and so self-conscious to show you but here it is. I figured that it was only fair to give you a fair update on what's going on. And I will continue to use the lotions that I've been using on them. And apparently this is getting better. So that's good news. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching. And then I'll see you again in my next video.